To make my control surfaces I'm using 9mm foam which is really good for building these light planes because it's fairly strong and it can take a few crashes. Once you've cut out like your control surface you can like um, you can like bevel the edge so it'll bend better like I've done on uh, this one over here and um, then you can like they won't get like stuck or anything. Well so I made these about so I made this one about an inch and a half wide um, just because it's so long I don't want it to be like crazy. Or anything. Now you have two options for the hinging. I like to use tape because I mean it's more flexible than uh, these like plastic hinges I'm using I think I've used these before and they made a bit of a disaster. I tried to use them on the cargo plane but it just didn't work at all. Um, so I'm going to use tape again like I have on everything in the past. It's like extra strong packing tape and it's really good for all this kind of stuff. Now I've done the elevator now on the plane. Pretty simple. Um, so that's how you make one of those. And now I'm going to show you how to do the servos, which are just as easy. Now, before you put the servo on, you need to put um, one of these hinge, con I don't know what they're called, control hinge things. Um, but they're really cheap and easy to get hold of. You can also make them from um, lollipop sticks and like cut the front bit off and just use a little hole for the the um, the wire stuff. Which I've also forgotten what it's for. So here's the servo. What I'm going to do is just put it underneath. The first time I've done this, so. It might go a bit wrong and hopefully it doesn't. Oh yeah, quick message, these little like um the focus these little like Z buttons here. They uh therefore going into this and they like hold it in place and everything. I'll just show you quickly how to make those. What we're gonna do is take some of this stuff, grab a pair of pliers, no, grab a focus, Brilliant. grab a pair of pliers. Just get it at the end and bend it like. Oops. You have to grip it quite hard. Bend it round once to there. Then bend it back again. You have one of those. That's a bit bad one, but. Hold on. And there you go, a completed control surface and servo. All you need to do now is plug that into your receiver. Thanks for watching and goodbye.